Find the integral of x times 2x plus 1 to the power of 52 dx. Well, if that 52 was smaller, I'd just expand it out, because that would be the easiest way. But that's a really huge number, and I don't like my chances of getting that right. So next thing on the list after rewriting it is substitution. So I should pick the most annoying bit, which is there, and make that u, and see what happens. So let u be equal to 2x plus 1. Then du on dx is 2. So du is 2dx. And I don't have a 2 to go with the dx, so I'll just divide both sides by 2 to get a half of du equals dx. Okay, so now I can replace the dx with a half of u. I can replace the 2x plus 1 with a u. I just leave this x here. Okay, so I just need to rearrange this to get the x in terms of u. So, so also u equals 2x plus 1. So u minus 1 equals 2x. So a half of u minus a half is equal to x. Right, let's see how we go with that. We had the integral of x times 2x plus 1 to the 52 dx. Now the x is a half of u minus a half. And the 2x plus 1 to the 52 would be u to the 52. And the dx is a half of du. So let's see. If I times m both by half, I'll get quarters for both of them. And then I bring the u, u to the power of 52 in. I'll get a quarter of u to the 53 minus a quarter of u to the 52. And that's just powers, I can do that. So let's see, that's equal to the quarter will stay there. The 53 will go up to 54, and I'll have to divide by the new power. The quarter will stay there. The 52 will go up to 53, and I'll have to divide by that new power. And because it's an indefinite integral, there'll be a plus c on the end. And so let's see, 4 times 54, 4 times 50 would be 200. So 1 over 216. 4 times 53, and that would be 1 over 212. U to the 53 plus C. And the U was actually... There it is, 2x plus 1. Okay. So we're getting... That's equal to 1 over 216 times 2x plus 1 to the 54 minus 1 over 212 times 2x plus 1 to the 53 plus c.